1. Using serial notes. This is a note. On a note you can bring color grading adjustments. You can give the note a name. I will show you soon how to do that. Let's name this the original. You can create another serial note with right mouse click, add note, add serial. On this you can bring adjustments as well. Let's adapt the curve on this note. You can create as many serial notes as you'd like. Let's adjust the warper on this one. Serial notes are useful because you can disable and enable each one of them. This is the original. You can check what the curve does. And you can check what the warper does. There are three important functions that you can give a shortcut. Go to DaVinci Resolve, Keyboard Customization and search for Notes. Open the Notes menu. Here you can define shortcuts for all functions. I use Alt S or S to add a serial note. Ctrl D or D to disable or enable notes. And the shortcut E to label or name the note. You can define your preferred shortcut by clicking on the plus to add an extra shortcut or by clicking on the little cross to replace the shortcut. And then hitting that shortcut on your keyboard. And don't forget to save. 2. Correcting the white balance. Here we have a clip where the white balance is too green. Let's correct it on this note. First I'm going to give some technical explanation. Go to the color wheels. Make sure that the display qualifier focus is enabled. If you hover on the image you can see that the colors are indicated in the scopes. These white parts are always on top in the scopes and the dark parts are always lower in the scopes. Let's take a look at the white wall as a reference. You can see in the scopes where it's located. On a pure white, the colors red, green and blue have the same height. We can see in the scopes that green peaks a little higher than blue and red here. This wants to say that the white balance is too green. We need to make sure that this green here is at the same height as the reds and blues. We can correct the global white balance here in the offset. Because it's too green, we need to drag it towards the opposite color of green. You can see in the scopes that the reds, greens and blues are equal now on the white wall, meaning that the white balance is correct. Bonus tip! If you can't use the display qualifier focus after enabling it, go to another tab, like the curves or color warper for example, and try it there. 3. Contrast Let's adjust the contrast on this clip. You'd say that you do it with the contrast tool, but there's a way that gives you more control. What I do is always decrease the lifts or darker parts first, then optionally increase the gamma or middle parts a little, and you can increase the gain or lighter parts eventually. Adjust these tools until you're satisfied. This is without and this is with the contrast. 4. Removing green screens. This is our original clip, and this is our background. Let's position the background under the green screen clip. Go to the color grading, right mouse click in the area and add an alpha output. Create a new node and name it Remove Green Screen. Connect this node to the alpha output. Now we can add transparent parts in this clip. Go to the qualifier tab and select the green screen. Now we can only see the green parts. This green color needs to be flat and solid. Here we can see some darker greens. To fix that, you can extend the selected colors in the U and optionally in the saturation and luminance. All greens of the green screen needs to be in the selected range, without any object pixels. Now the greens are as flat and solid as possible. Parts that differ only a little bit will barely be noticeable in our final result. So don't worry too much about that. If needed, you can test some tools in the matte finesse to fine tune the range. Once the green color looks as flat and solid as possible, invert the range. Now we have this result. Bonus tip! If there are still greens visible on the edges or reflections of the product, you can desaturate these greens in the U versus set. Select them and desaturate them. 
you can always modify the selected range. Another thing that you can do is select these greens and you versus you, and change these green colors to the object's color. All you need to do now is fine tune the normal color grading. So let's make the product brighter. This is our final result. 5. The Answers Film Grain. This is a paid plugin that you can find on the The Answer website. This is without grain, and this is with grain. All you need to do is just enable it in the effects. It's important to say that The Answer has an even bigger package, including this grain. You can find that on the The Answer website. The package also includes tools like Halation to give your videos a dreamy look. As an example, this is without halation, and this is with the answer selation. There are a lot of other tools like Bloom for example. This is without Bloom, and this is with Bloom. The answer has a lot of options to make your color grading better. As an example, I try to grade this clip with DaVinci only, and together with the answer's tools to have this result. And you're lucky, because I could fix a deal with the answer for you. You can use the promo code TIM20 for 10% off. The promo code works for all the answer products, except their newest iOS app. If you like to grade on an iPad or iPhone, you can find a link to that app on their website as well. 6. Fix overexposure. You can have a video that has overexposured parts, and nothing seems to fix that. Well. That is past tense for you from now on. DaVinci has a hidden tool in the HDR tab. Click on this arrow until you see the highlights. In completely overexposured parts, there is no information. What we can do with these completely white parts is make them more grey by decreasing the highlights. Like that, it looks a lot more realistic. This is before and this is after. 7. Changing the color atmosphere. This is the original clip. There are a few ways to change the color. You can do it in the U vs U. This one transforms specific colors into other colors. A second option is the color warper, with which you can completely change the look and feel of your video. And the third option is the white balance. Here you can drag the white balance to a complete new color as well. Remember, this is our global white balance. In the gain, you can adjust the white balance of the highlights. In the gamma, you can adjust the white balance of the middle parts. And in the lift, you can adjust the white balance of the darker parts. Of course, you can combine these three as well, to change the color of your atmosphere as precise as possible. And now you can create results like this.